Jamaica, a small space brimming with vast talent. Photographer turned singer Joby J, not yet a household name, but for her growing flock of fans, she's a safe bet. Photography, her first love, but now a recording artist with a distinct sound. I'm soft, but I'm not no pushover. And look. So, my nickname has always been Joby. My full name is Jobene. People already know me as Joby, and then the J is just a nice addition. Prove it. If you fumble the bag, you're gonna lose it. Do not waste my time. Please make up your mind, boy. From Mikuda Mek Sound, me I sing. I've always been a very expressive, creative, bubbly child. But when I went to Edna for photography, <laughs> I was always at music school at every lunch hour, every final year show. And when I would go to the shows and see them perform, I would always see myself on the stage. I'd always be sitting down thinking, Joby, you know you can do that. Love me like it's the last time. Tell me that I'm on your mind. When I'm feeling down and low. There's a few things I need to know. I think it was at a protege show. I don't remember what protege show, but it was a protege show. And I went to that show and I was just like, yeah, mm hmm. I need to do this. This is what I need to do. So I was listening to a lot of protege chronics. Jana, and I love Jana, and I talk about her all the time. She's definitely a huge inspiration for me. I was listening to a lot of Afrobeats, a lot of Davido and Tiwa Savage. You know, I was listening to jazz. I was listening to Nina Simone and Amy Winehouse and um, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu. So at that time when I was exploring music, I was also starting to sing again. This is high quality. I make no apology. So I took a chance in 2019 and I did some acoustic performances and then after I did the unplugged performance at Ambassador Bar and Grill that went really well. Tell me it's gonna be alright. Tell me it's gonna be just fine. When you're feeling down and low, just know I can be home. I released my first single Big Girl Thing in December of 2019. And then, yeah, here we are now. I'm in a rough for what you are. If all you do I waste my time, no add no value to my life. I think I have a lot of privilege as it relates to how I entered the music industry and how seamless it was for me. I think I had it pretty easy because people are already used to me in the creative space. So as a photographer, I was in the space shooting and working with different musical artists. So at the time when I started music, people were just like, we know Joby, but we know Joby as a photographer. So people were just like, you sing too. And the transition for me was pretty smooth. I'm a gem sent from heaven, Sunday morning like a blessing. Normally when people say, oh Jovi, what kind of music you do? I say reggae fusion. Because it's reggae, but you'll definitely get some tones of Afrobeat, you'll get some jazz, and you'll get, you know, a little R&B vibe. It's empowerment, it's music that makes you think, music that makes you feel good, music that is inspiring. And my style is really just me. It's expressive, it's fun, it's quirky. I have to be true to myself, so that is what will lead me. My integrity is always gonna lead me, so I feel like what is happening now in terms of the hype and what people are really gravitating to is not the type of music and the type of content that I want to do. So I'm going to be true to myself. I feel like when you do real music, people, re people will resonate with it, even without you like trying too hard because people are going to feel it. If I feel it, I believe people will feel it. So I just try my best to put myself out there and make the best of social media, you know, when I go into these different creative spaces, whether it is that I'm just there to support or I'm actually performing, that's when I use the opportunity to reach out to people and have people experience the vibe that is Joby J. Take me out to change my mind cause you say you're sorry. I loved you, yes, but I love me more. I loved you, yes, but I love me more. I know my worth. I know there's better things in store. That is something that definitely carries me. That song is really just about, you know, choosing yourself and remembering your worth. And in terms of my EP, Love Levels, I'd have to say, I want real love, love that makes your heart feel light. You know, true love, not just a late text in the night. So, yeah, my music is me, my music is very personal. Big girl thing, I may not end, I know that 
I've always been a natural hair fanatic. I've always been like obsessed with hair. I've always loved locks. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try to lock something yeah? And it just worked. I'm gonna just love it. And then I decided to cut the sides of my hair. And at first it was like a shocker, especially for my parents. They were just like, what is this? But I love it. How I feel is how I dress, you know, and I think I'm a very quirky, fun person, so it comes out in my eyeshadow and the colors that I wear, my rings, everything. So I'm just expressing myself. It's fun for me. I enjoy getting dolled up and thinking about how I'm going to do my hair, how I'm going to do my face. So it's really just another aspect of me expressing myself. You're going to remember how I look, that's for sure. I'm going to ask you. You're going to remember how I look. So. My image is very important. It's also something I'm using to imprint myself in people's brain. Prove it like you want it, like a plus 10 out of 10. I just want to continue to, to prove myself, to continue to, to show people that I really am serious about this music and that I have a, a good idea of what I want to do, what I want to say. So I think it's really just, you know, making sure that you take yourself serious and show up in a way where you are professional so people can also take you serious. And I think from there, things will be a lot easier. It's like it's a, yeah, like it's a crack. <laughs> the, door, the door is cracked. It's opening. You know, I try not to be fixated on this specific end goal or how it's supposed to look. I think I just kind of try my best to allow myself to just exist and then things happen naturally. Give me all you got, prove it, clear you know some of In 2019, I did not know anything. <laughs> but as long as I can sing, I'm a know for all the mic, and then I know me figure out the other things. But I believed in myself, I knew that I could do it, and I reached out for help because I know some know everything. I'm gonna need help. So you have to believe in yourself because everyone is not gonna believe in you. And sometimes people will believe in you, but they might doubt you because maybe them feel like you're a bit too ambitious so you have to believe in yourself and it doesn't mean that you're gonna be too cocky and you're gonna have the most ego in the world because you have to know when to be humble and take criticism so you can get better but believe in yourself and that will carry you check out joe bj's ep love levels Ooh.